Hello, folks. I hope you're doing well. So, yes, the last one was talking about um, soul building. Yes. And the fact that, obviously, safe space churches and comfortable churches are all about how you feel. And so, therefore, today's type of pastor is obviously building souls, not spirits. Now, as I said in the last one, if you are of God, then you focus on the spirit rather than the soul. Because God wants the spirit in that person to be stronger and to be in charge of that person. He doesn't want the soul to be in charge. Because the soul makes people weak. Very weak. Because put it this way, in, in, the, um, in the last days, if we have this 666, and if people are going to be you know, told that they have to have this, and if, them, if they are threatened, or if their family is used to threaten them to make sure they have that, if they are soul strong rather than spirit strong they are going to dive in to get this 666 now the word of god says you cannot have the mark of the beast and the mark of god if you have the mark of the beast and you go to hell so there be people basically dying to go to hell because it's easier for them than not because soul is very temporary. As I said, soul is about how you feel right now. People would rather go to hell because right now it makes them feel better to be walking on that wide path, that safe, comfortable path, than on difficult, narrow path that we're told in the Word of God that will be our path. Right? In the Word of God, we're told it's a, it's a difficult, narrow path. But in church, they don't want that. No, the pastors don't want that. The pastors want people to have a comfortable, wide path. You know, that doesn't feel as if you're going to fall over or you're going to twist your ankle. You imagine, I, said, I use these paths as an example. These paths, you've got all tree roots coming through. There's all areas where you can easily trip over. Yeah? Okay, there you go. There's an old bit of tree there. You can easily trip over that. Right? The path that God has for us is even more rugged than that. Right? Yeah. We are going to fall. We are going to be ouchied sometimes. Because we have to learn to get up. And so falling is part of that. In church, they want to stop you from falling. So they make a path more like a road than this. Because this, cause there's lots of trip hazards here. Oh, you can't have that in church. Oh, God say no. You can't have a trip hazard in church. But you see, people of God, they don't care about how you feel. If someone is of God, they look at what God is telling them to do, rather than what makes you happy. They're thinking about what makes God happy. What he wants, rather than what you want. And they know, if they do it right, it's better for you. And therefore, they care more for you than pastors do. That's why pastors are the lowest people in the ministry. Right now. When I say church made them the highest. But they're actually the lowest. Anyone, anyone at all, who is going to be a builder of soul is working against God. So pastors right now, they've been trained to be people pleasers because if you can please people then you're in a situation where obviously people think you're doing a good job 
right? Because you're making people feel good. And because they want to go by feelings, that works, right? That is good. You like that because you feel you feel good because you make them feel good. You're getting a pat on the back after a service. They're saying, oh, Pastor, that was a lovely service. And that's what you care about. It's lukewarm. There's never going to be anything hot. There's never going to be any heat coming out of that at all. Because heat can be offensive. Yeah, you hear this from British people all the time, and from American people all the time, but certainly British people all the time. As I'm British, I'd hear it. I wouldn't hear it from other countries. But they go to certain places in Africa and the Middle East. They come out of the hotel and they're suddenly hit by the heat. And what do they do? They turn straight back and go back into the hotel. Because that heat is incredibly offensive to the body. Yeah. Yeshua said in Revelations, I would rather you were hot or cold. But the problem is cold itself can be offensive. You get into a bath or a shower, you put a shower on, and the water is a bit too cold. Whoa! And don't like that. Yeah, jump out of that thing. Wait until it gets hotter. That ain't good. No, we don't like, we don't like cold either, do we? We like it just in the middle. Lovely, you know, comfortable. Anything that's uncomfortable, we don't like it. But that's what he wants. That's what he said. I'd rather you were hot or cold. But lukewarm, I puke out. That's puke. Yeah. And yet what we get served up in church is puke. That's what they serve up in church, puke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's what the people want. And that's the point. They're giving people what they want. Because this is the point. Anyone who comes from the world and comes into church, what do they want? They want exactly the same as what they've had. But while being told they're going to go to heaven. That's what they're given. Because that's what they want. Dealing with all the things you need to deal with, that's hard work. Yet yeah, most of us in the world, we've been through an education system where we had to learn. Learning is a pain in the butt, right? We don't particularly like learning. Learning is difficult. You're having to apply certain knowledge and information. Ugh. Yeah, but we did it as kids. We don't really want to do it. And if you've got a job and you've got to go through training, that's a pain in the ass. So at church, do they want that? No, of course they don't want that at church. So therefore, church doesn't deliver that. It doesn't deliver anything that's training or teaching people how to walk in any way, shape or form. Because that's difficult. And difficult to learn. And we're kind of difficult in church. So easier. Look, let people go to hell. Because by the time they go to hell. It's not our responsibility. Not the leadership in church. Well as I've said. The problem is. You're going to go to hell with them. And when you go to hell with them. They're going to do horrendous things to you. Because it's because of you that they are actually in hell. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah. But the point of it is, as I say, people are deluded into thinking that they're doing a good job. As I say, if, if, they didn't, if they truly didn't think they were doing a good job, they would probably do something about it, right? Well, might do. There's certainly some people in church where yeah, they are good people, but they really believe they're doing a good job. 
And that's why I say they need conviction from God, they're not. They need conviction from God to see the reality of what's really happening. Yeah. That's not an easy thing. The reason why you can see my hand keep on coming into the camera, because I was doing walkie talkies at the time. I was doing a video talking about a uh, situation or um, something. You can go back and find the original video somewhere. I can't tell you what it was. But there you go. So there you go. Anyway. Yeah. Generally speaking on here, you won't find me speaking about things in the song. I do speak about football, but I speak about football in a challenging way rather than in a soul-building way. But there you go. We all make mistakes. You take care. God bless. Bye-bye.